Uh, your Imaging Studio V4 features a uh, easy to use motion analysis software called the Tima Starter. Here we have taken a sequence with the LP camera that we want to do a motion analysis. So I want to track some points and also do later on an analysis based on real coordinates. So to calibrate the system, I need to have two known points where I know the distance. I select the first point, put this on here, and rename that point as Calib1. I need to fine tune and adjust. You can just zoom in by the mouse wheel, say OK. I'm going to have a new point. It's my calibration 2, Calib2. this in the middle and of course we want to track the head here so I'm going to select another point put in on the head here head and then one two put this in the middle the rectangles here are normally not such of concern because these are the boundaries where the algorithm looks for in the next frame to find that specific target. <clears throat> you can actually reduce this a bit so it's on the smooth surface. That's the thing you get used to it when uh, using the software uh, more frequent. So, we are ready to track now. I have the habit that I do a couple of frames by frame by frame tracking to see there is everything okay. Uh, it's not a big movement so the algorithm gets uh, preset, then I hit the automatic button and let's see what's happened. We see that points are tracked, everything, and then in the end we get the signal, it's all done. So we want to have a calibration to the coordinates given here, so I have to select scaling. I can have a single line, so I can choose my two markers. I know the distance. This is 600 millimeters or centimeters, yards, miles, uh, whatever. So I say, OK, now we have calibrated the pixels to the real world uh, distance. A diagram is simply made. And add a diagram here, properties. I want to have the head at this. I don't want to have the position. I probably want to have the velocity and the absolute speed, not just the xy. On this, we say OK. And we see by playing back, we see always the bar that follows the measurements, and we see what's happened in the movie. So maybe I want to compare this to uh, another velocity. So I can add on the properties. I can add, for instance, the calibration one at. And then uh, we have two curves that gives you the analysis. So once we play back again, we see that we have these two curves. You have the constant velocity, it reached peak velocity now, but the head is still falling back.